next. Sparks fly on the Silverstone set. Cut. But was Jet really just acting? Our relationship is strictly professional. You are so cute. Beyonce and Destiny's Child guest star on the famous Jet Jackson. Coming up next, part of Zoo Weekends. Sorry, I'm late. What's the crisis? How's the situation? Hijacking? Silverstep. Pardon my distraction. But that, my young friend, is one funky fresh jam. Destiny's Child? Well, yes, it is. You've heard of them? Of course I've heard of them. They're huge. What surprises me is that you're listening to them. Research, Silverstep. Research. It seems an international criminal consortium has stolen some microfiche containing the nuclear codes from the former Soviet Union. That can spell trouble. What's that got to do with Destiny's Child? Our sources tell us the microfiche has already landed in the States. Well, then it's too late. But what's that got to do with Destiny's Child? No, it's not too late. The microfiche is being held pending sale by the persons responsible for bringing it into the country. Destiny's Child. So you're telling me they're R&B stars and international microfee smugglers? Yes, but as far as we know, they know nothing about it. They've been on their European tour. Last stop, Moscow. And someone smuggled the microfiche in with the band arts equipment when they returned to the States. Precisely. Silverstone, you must find the microfiche before it can be sold. The fate of the free world depends on it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to my research. Silverstone, the ultimate action hero. Top agent for a secret organization. Saving the world one mission at a time. At least that's who I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Being a TV star is cool, but being a regular kid is even better. So I had the show moved back to my hometown, Willstead, North Carolina. Now, I can hang with my friends, which is great. And the best part of all, I get to spend a lot more time with my family. I'm just trying to live my life as a normal kid. But some people still see me as the famous Jet Jackson. Check, check, check. Lala here? No. Check, check. Testing, one, two. Test, test. Hey! Be careful, man. What? This microphone's cost more than you make in a whole year. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah, well, it happens again. And you're on the first bus back to, uh... Siberia. Whatever you call your country now. Okay. Hey, come on now, Phil. Yeah, ease up. He said he was sorry. All due respect, princesses. Just let me do my job. Does that job include yelling at your employees? Yeah, if they need it. And who are you? Name's Rob. Rob Stone. I've been hired for the East Coast leg of the tour. Aren't you a little young to be a roadie? Aren't you a little old to be rocking that ponytail? Why don't you and Pavlova over there take... Phil, if I remember correctly, you still work for us. So back off. Anything you say, beyond say. Come on, Paul, let's get out of here. All right, everybody, back to work! Thank you. It's Rob, right? That was gutsy. Stupid, <laughs> but gutsy. I'm Beyonce. Well, thanks for sticking up for us. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, I did. I'm glad you're with us, Rob. And cut. Perfection. Moving on. Hey, Jeff. This is cool. You think I could cut it as an actor? What, are you kidding me? You were terrific. Really? It's hard to tell, you know. With music, it's like, when you nail it, you know it. But acting is a totally different thing. Beyonce, trust me, you are natural. Can you tell me if I were totally whack, right? Oh, yeah, of course. None. Uh, oh, but thank you for being honest. <laughs> See you later. 
totally down to earth, which is amazing for such a big star. Yeah, well, you got that big star thing right. I spent half my day diverting traffic from where you guys were filming. Plus, there's buzzing over Destiny's Child being here. And the other thing about Beyonce is she is... Oh, man, she's... Oh, man. That's, uh... That's quite a compliment coming from, uh, you. Uh, do I sense a little, uh... Crush you? Me? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's not one of those, man. Uh, Strictly professional. It's professional, yeah, right, man. It's a right. business-like admiration. Uh, yeah, right. It's a business. I'll get it. You think about that. Professional, right? yeah, man. Yeah, professional. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can I help you? You betcha. I'm here to pick up Coretta. That's Ms. Coretta. Hey, man. You must be Coretta's son. I'm her grandson. Speaking of which, aren't you a little young to be taking her out? I believe age is an artificial constraint. I mean, why did it limit us, right? Mm-hmm. Well, Here I am. Ooh, cool, babe. I see you two have met. Don't wait up, Wood. Nice wheels. Get more impressed by the minute. Sorry, I, I I didn't think anyone was around. So, what's your real story, Rob? What do you mean? Come on. The way you play and the way you handled yourself earlier, you are not a roadie. Busted. I'm actually an elite operative for a top secret agency dedicated to keeping peace in the world. Another lie. You seem to be having a problem with telling the truth, Rob Stone. Now, if you want to know what a truth sounds like, here's one. I hate liars. I'm your bodyguard. The record label hired me to, to keep an eye on you and the girls. All those crazy fans. See how simple the truth is? Thank you. Now, if the label hired you, there's nothing I can do about it. But personally, I'm not interested in a bodyguard. And even more personally, I'm not interested in a liar. So later for you, Stone. Dude! You, Beyonce, Beyonce and you! On fire. Oh, no, no, man. That was just acting, you know? Oh, brah, if that was acting, then I am an overweight British woman. <laughs> no, dude, as an FX whiz, highly trained in pyrotechnics, the sparks were real. You dog. <laughs> no, no, man. Beyonce's a, 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 a woman, and I'm... Oh, the lure of the older woman. One of life's sweet terrors. No, no, she wouldn't be into me. Why not? It happened to me. So Ellen Pinsky. Ah, yes. You were six, and she was seven. She glued you to the swing. And that's not a sign of affection? Grow up, Jackson. And don't forget one very special ingredient. You are the famous Jet Jackson. Anything's possible. <laughs> what are those? They're chaps, Wood. Makes for a more comfy ride on the back of Clarence's hog. As in motorcycle? You going out with him again? He's picking me up any minute. You have a problem with that? 
just think that he may be a bit, you know. Illuminate me, Woodrick. Well, young. I mean, when you were in your 20s, Clarence wasn't even... I'm just looking out for you, Miss Coretta. Well, I appreciate that, Wood. But I've been looking after myself for quite a few years now. That would be my ride. Later, Wood. Wait a minute. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with you. It won't happen again. You're right. It won't. I don't want a bodyguard, and I don't need anyone looking out for me. Just wait a minute. I can explain. If you just give me a chance, it wasn't my idea. <gasps> oh. I just wanted something, uh, a trinket from the band. Let him go. You take something from me, sell it on the internet, and make some extra cash. Yes. Go on, take it. Consider it severance pay. Now get out of here before I decide to call the cops. Thank you. So you do have a heart. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I would just... Well, you keep your distance, you know? This is John. Everybody wanted something from me. Caring about me only for my fame. No one wants to know who I really am. I do. You mean that? You're the one good at spotting a lion. Am I lying? Maybe I do need a bodyguard. Cut! Nice! Moving on, everyone. Good job. <laughs> That's my Nana. I mean, she may be old, but she can throw a shoe like an NFL quarterback. <laughs> you know? Oh, boy. Oh, man, look at the time. It's past 10 now. You gotta get home. Uh, oh, nah, nah, man. I'd be staying out late, you know, but mm -hmm. it's just, I was just commenting on, on the time here. Yeah. <laughs> you are so cute. And the way you live here in Wolstead. I mean, you do your show and you keep it real. Other stars would have lost touch of the important things, like kicking it with someone you like. Yo, B, we're headed back to the hotel. You coming? Oh, no, I think we're going to stick. Oh, yeah, I'm tired. To walking. I will stick to walking because, you know, it's good for the heart. It's <laughs> exercise. Bye. Bye-bye. My dad's going to kill me. What time it is? Don't you start with me, Wood. I am not in a good mood. I had to dump Clarence tonight. Oh, poor boy. He never stood a chance. You dumped him? He was too clingy. At this point in my life, I'm just not looking for a long-term commitment. Poor kid. He took it pretty hard. But... He'll bounce back. Hey, Joe. I, I don't know what to say. 
How about good night? How cool is it that Destiny's Child is doing your show? What do you like to work with? It's great. Beyonce is a national. So, are you two still playing it cool with each other? What do you mean? The TV's got this whacked out theory about Beyonce and me. I mean, but it's not like that. Our relationship is strictly professional. Jet? Huh? Strictly professional, huh? Um, I was hoping to have a few words with Jet before class started. My name is Beyonce. And, and, and no need to introduce yourself, Miss Knowles. <laughs> My name is Edward Dupree. You may call me Eddie. All of you may not. Oh, cool. A teacher who's a fan. Might I add that uh, Bill's, Bill's, Bill's was a uh, intelligent yet ironic statement of socioeconomic and gender politics. Thanks. It's also killing to dance, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait. If I could just have a moment outside class to speak with Beyonce in private. Nonsense, I'll... Mr. Jackson. Beyonce. May I call you Beyonce? <laughs> Your timing is perfect. In today's class, we were going to cover contemporary urban poetry. Well, I, I, I feel that your perspective would be a valuable addition. Would you, uh, would you care to sit in? I'm sure that Beyonce is no. very busy. No, I'd love to. Yeah, so I saw that little dance number you were rehearsing with the little thing in it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Think you're going to have to move. Hey, come on, ladies. You... What are you doing in here, Rody? It's okay, Phil. He's with me. Anything you say, Beyonce. Well, anyway, have a good show. Thank you. See you after the show. Count on it. All right. All right, everybody, put your hands together for Destiny. Aren't you gonna stay for the rest of the concert? I hear they wrote a tune especially for you. It's a little ditty called Life in Prison Without Parole. Yeah. I must insist you stay for it. <laughs> I'm glad you find it amusing. No, it's you who I find amusing. While you've been so busy thinking up your witty remarks, you forgot about one important thing. Beyonce, she's about to become our ticket out of here. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your plans, but the show must go on. Don't go anywhere. I gotta catch the rest of the show. We're using Destiny's Child as cover for the handoff of the nuclear codes. I can't believe what you're telling me. Yeah, I know it's a lot to process. But... No. I get that. But you lied to me. Again. Yeah, I did. 
But if I'm ever totally honest, then someone could get hurt. And if that someone was you... I guess you and I, we have a lot in common. I mean, no one knows who we really are. We have everything we want in the world, but no one to share it with. Well, maybe now that we've found each other, we could... No. We couldn't. So what now? You go back to your music, I go back to saving the world. End of story. End of story. For what it's worth, all those people who only want to know you for your fame, Hey, Jack! So, are you and Beyonce going out for a little après rap shaker or something? You know, man, I was thinking about it. I've been getting mixed signals all week, you know? But what the hey? <laughs> Think I'm gonna do it. Go for it. Booyah! That is all I have to say about that, amigo. But uh, I better run. Looks like the object of your affection coming this way. Here you are. I can't believe it's over. Yeah, me too. Uh, I was wondering... I had the best time. It really felt like we clicked, you know? Clicked? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was wondering... Our plane leaves in an hour. I gotta head to the airport. Bye, Jack. I miss you, Jack. But you'll always be my little brother down at Willstead. <laughs> Little brother. Always put me down when you thought that you could I want you to know that I'm doing so good 